A man shot in Pasco County lived to tell the tale tonight, and now he's hoping law enforcement can help find the person responsible. Good evening, I'm Paula Cerro. Thank you for joining us. And while he was not seriously wounded, he's sharing his story exclusively with News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers as the unidentified shooter remains at large. Nicole, this is a bizarre story to say the least. It is a man shot while riding his motorcycle. Now he says he was covered from head to toe with his helmet, jacket and pants, and he just doesn't understand why this happened. Now we want to warn you that some of these images are graphic and may be hard to watch. It was in the early morning hours of June 9th when Nolan, who we are not identifying by his last name because he is concerned for his family's safety, says he went out for a ride on his friend's motorcycle in Trinity when the light bar of a pickup truck blinded him. It was bright enough that I couldn't see the road in front of me anymore. Nolan says he remained calm and just kept going. The truck was coming towards me as I passed. I felt something hit me. As someone who has been riding motorcycles for over two decades, Nolan didn't think much of it. I figured I something, the truck kicked something up, hit me. But when he got home, Nolan says he had a hard time lifting his right arm, so he asked his son for help. When we went in the garage and turned the light on, that's when he saw his eyes got real big and he's like, hey, Dad, you're, you're bleeding. That's when he found a gunshot wound in his chest. It's about maybe 15 minutes later um, that we realized there was an exit hole as well. If the person who shot you is listening, what would be your message to them? They're on a clock one way or another. A lot of people take what's, what happened to me very seriously, especially if he's just targeting people on two wheels. You know, who's to say the next person doesn't survive? The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is investigating, saying that an unknown suspect shot Nolan and it appears to be an isolated incident. Live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.